even though this says accepted there is a problem with this can you identify what is the problem with this current logic that we have hey guys welcome back to our channel this channel aware science is all about trying to learn various concepts over the science by practicing a lot of questions in this video we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding strong friendship the difficulty level of this question is medium i am going to share the sql schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below okay the question reads we are given a table called friendship with two different columns user 1 id and user 2 id the combined columns is the primary key for this table each row of this table indicates that the users user 1 id and user 2 id are friends note that user 1 id is less than user 2 id okay a friendship between a pair of friends x and y is strong if x and y have at least three common friends write a solution to find all the strong friendships note that the result table should not contain duplicates with user 1 id less than user 2 id return the result table in any order okay let's go through this example so here what we have is user 1 id and user 2 id so if we look at who all are friends and who are strong friends so if you look at this so one and two are friends now if you look at the common friends so one is a friend of three two is also a friend of three so one common friend two common friend three common friend and also one is a friend of six and two is also a friend of six so actually one and two are friends who have four common friends so one and two is a strong friendship if you look at one and three so three is a friend of two one is also a friend of two so one common friend then one is a friend of seven three is also a friend of seven so second common friend and one is a friend of six three is also a friend of six so three common friend so one two four common friends one three three common friends and that is what we have in our output so to solve this question since we just saw that it is possible that the data is something around this line right so user id 2 and 3 so here you can say that okay 3 is a friend of 2 and 2 is also a friend of 3 so friendships go both way so the first thing that we should do is we can perform a union that hey whatever the way it is written in this okay then union this which second column becomes the first and first becomes the second so that we have all the friendship combinations in our same table so let us do that so from this table called friendship let us keep all the columns so select star so basically both the columns and then let's union and then finally perform from this friendship table let us keep the first column right so user 2 id becomes the first column and then user 1 id so that friendship goes both ways and then let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at this we have all the possible combinations okay now once we have this then what we can do is let's save this in a common table expression so let's write this as with cte as and then you know this entire thing goes into parentheses uh, let me just you know reformat this so that it does not take so many lines uh this and then from friendship okay now once we have this then what we are doing is from this french from this common table expression right so from this city let us try out that okay so this was our output let me just drag it above so this becomes our city now let us try to find out who all are the common friends so how can we do that is if we take this common table expression and do a self join of itself using the user 2 id column so for example if you look at this right so user 1 id equal to 1 and user 2 id equal to 2 so 1 and 2 are friends and if we look at so 3 is also a friend of 1 so how can we say that okay if 2 is also a friend of 3 so we can see right 2 is also a friend of 3 that means if we perform the join of user 2 id coming from the first common table expression and the second common table expression then what we can do is we can get okay let me just write this you know that would be more clear so from cte alias as c1 let us perform a left join of cte alias as c2 and how we are going to perform the join is on c1 dot user 2 id is equal to c2 dot user 2 id and let us keep all the four columns two from ct c1 and two from c2 let me go ahead and run this and let's see what we mean by this is so here if you look at it see that one and two are friends three and two are friends also so we can say that two is the common friend of one and three similarly if we look at one and two are friends four and two are also friends so four is also a common friend of one and two 
similarly for 5, 6, right? So we just saw this when we were going through this table. So what we can do is let's try to ignore such rows and how can we do that is we can just write that only keep those rows where user1 id coming from c1 is less than user2 id. Why? Because these rows does not make any sense. These are a join of the row on itself and they are not giving us any information. So let us keep only those rows where c1.user1 id is less than c2.user1 id. Let me run this again. Okay. So what we have right now is so 1 is a friend of 2, 6 is also a friend of 2. So the common friend of 1 and 6 is 2, right? Once we have this, then what we can do is let us group by user1 id coming from c1 and user1 id coming from c2 and try to count how many common friends are there because all these rows now represent the common friends, right? So let us do this. So group by, right? So let's group by c1 dot user1 id and c2 dot user1 id so this column and this column and let's perform a count of user2 id column coming from the c2 part right so let us return c1 dot user1 id c2 dot user1 id and count of c2 dot user2 id and let us alias this as common friend Okay, let me just go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So now if we look at this here, we have one and six have two common friends, one and five has one common friends and so on. So once we have this, then we are going to say that, okay, we are only interested in those ones where the count of this common friend is at least three. So what we can do is having right so since we need to filter based on an aggregate value so we need to write having this entire thing right this entire thing should be greater than equal to three right so greater than equal to three let me go ahead and run this again let's see what do we get in our output okay so now once we have this is one and three three common friends one and two four common friends okay now we need to alias this as whatever is required in our output so in this output this should be aliased as user2 id right so let me alias this as user2 id and let me bring this down so that it's easier for us to see okay let me go ahead and run this again let's see what do we get in our output okay even though this says accepted there is a problem with this can you identify what is the problem with this current logic that we have even though this says accepted okay let me just submit this we will be getting a test case and let's try to figure out what is actually happening so you see this says wrong answer now let's inquire about this that this is your input and this is the output that we are getting but it should get this right nothing why is this happening now here the first thing that we did was we also performed a union of you know interchange these columns so 4 and 12 there is another row here 12 and 4 right now we are performing a join so when we are doing 1 and 4 you c1 dot user 2 id is equal to there is 12 and 4 here so c2 dot user 2 id so it is performing a join that yes there is a row that is going to be 1 4 12 4 so 4 is the common friend of 1 and 12 however if you just look here are 1 and 12 friends do you see any row where 1 and 12 are friends no so even though 1 and 12 have a common friend but 1 and 12 itself are not a friend and the question says that a friendship between a pair of friends x and y is strong right so that means 1 and 12 should be present here if not then it means they are not friends right so you see that is the problem that we have so how can we tackle that we can simply say that okay when you have all these combinations and at least three or more common friends let us save this entire thing in another common table expression cte2 as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we are doing is from this common table expression to only keep those combinations where user1 id comma user2 id belongs in the friendship 
table right so select star from friendship table right and now what we are doing is let us return all the columns from CTE2. Let me run this now. So again, accepted, not a big problem. But now if I go ahead and submit it, it is going to pass all the test cases. So you see, this passed all the test cases and this is how we do it. So tricky question, what we basically had to do was, firstly, we performed a union because if one is a friend of two, two is also a friend of one. And this question says that, this table only has the data in a certain row once we had that then we found out who all have the common friends grouped by them so that we can find for every combination how many common friends they do they have we kept only those where common friends are at least three but we also saw a case where even though there are more than co three common friends the combination could not be a friend in themselves so that is why we need to make sure that we do this last step so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video